This ain't a rap song. This red pill red. This ain't a rap song. This red pill red. It's more safer than going home to a white It's red pill red. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed the red pills to true. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world. When you're getting it like that, you can pick out a girl. When you chase your own dreams, you can become a swirl. As many as you want, straight. Welcome back to the curl. Anthony Spade channel. Single Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade? The link is in the description. Now, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know, I'm like kind of kicked out of the algorithm right now. So it's taking me a lot of time to get my views out. What I need you to do is hit the notifications button, but I really need you to do me a favor and start hitting the like button at the beginning of the video because that really helps a lot. I'm still telling people to do it at the end of the video, but it's starting to hurt me now. So if you're a, if you're in Sigma Nation, could you do me a favor and just go ahead and hit the like button right now and I really appreciate it, all right? But today's video is gonna be a girl reacting to what women underestimate about men. And the reason for this video is, is because a lot of women are always using the me, me, me situation. They're always victimizing themselves because it's easy for women to victimize themselves because men always look at women as being weak. Men actually underestimate how strong a woman can be. They don't understand that in a lot of cases, a secret that a lot of you guys don't know is that if you talk to a strong woman as a weak woman, she'll take that offensive and she'll have it out for you. That's just a little secret that guys don't know is that you can't underestimate a woman's weakness nowadays because a woman is also underestimating yours. And that's what we're going to learn today about today's video. All right. I'm not going to waste any more time to it. Before we get started, hit that like button. Let's get to it. Name one thing we underestimate about men. I'll go first. You can see it all the time online. There's always some woman online talking about a man needs to make sure her feelings are reassured, how she needs to feel secured, how she needs to feel validated. Me, 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 me. That's all you You never hear about a woman talking about how a man should feel reassured and validated and secured as well. Because, you know, he's human. She's absolutely right about that. Women are never trying to make sure that you're okay. Trying to make sure that you're positive. Trying to make sure that you're confident. It's because she's always trying to overpower you. Now, when I say women, I would not be talking about all women. I would just be talking about a lot of women that guys know. The good woman out there that's actually going to be considerate considerate of you it's going to be slim to none and the reason for that is because women have a right to victimize themselves and that's exactly what this woman's saying we underestimate a man's emotion so now when men start to complain it starts to look bad it makes a man look weaker because women are kind of like hey what are you complaining about because it's all about us and men are kind of like well you keep acting like we're not human when we really are with human emotions. A lot of y'all are fucking selfish. You don't let that man know it's okay for him to come talk to you. It's okay for him to come vent. It's okay for him to come cry. It's okay. No, because the man is afraid to come and talk to you because he afraid that you're gonna weaponize his feelings and use it against him later. And she's right. She is absolutely right. Nowadays, you have to be careful whenever you're talking to a woman because yes, she can weaponize everything that you do. Like for instance, a woman will put on provocative clothes so guys say, oh my God, look at her, she's looking pretty, just so she can feel sexy, so she can feel worthless. The moment women walk down the street and guys are not giving them attention is the moment they feel depressed. This is what guys are not understanding with women. You put yourself in position to actually take advantage of a man's desires because you know how a man is. I always tell you, Muslim women cover it up to take away the desires of a man. But a lot of Western women, you have to take off your clothes in order to get the attention so you feel good. But the problem here is, is that if you attract the guy that you don't like, if you attract the guys that you don't like, then it's going to be harassment. 
That's how a woman is. It's like, oh, my God, I'm not interested in this guy. And he's looking at me like I'm the sexiest thing in the world. He keeps talking to me. That's harassment. But if she was able to lure in the guy that she actually wants, then he can say the same thing that the unattractive guy says. And it's not going to be harassment. That's where we're at in today's world. The Me Too movement actually makes no sense because the majority of women that are using it are not victims. They're just women who are mad that they didn't get the results that they wanted. Let's get back to it. Man has to sit in the car for 15 minutes because sitting in that lonely car is more safer than going home to his wife or girlfriend. But happy wife, happy life, right? Because as long as the woman is happy, that relationship is doing just fine. And in most cases, the happy wife, happy life syndrome don't work. The theory doesn't work. What happens is most women in the Western world that we live in right now, they marry the guy that gives them the best contract. In other words, the guy that's willing to give up more money and do more things in her favor is going to be the guy that actually gets the wife, which is why they say happy wife, happy life. It's because you spend your entire relationship buying and doing things that she want to do because she did not naturally want you. That's just how it works. Happy wife, happy life comes to the guy that's actually paying for his wife. Because if you stop and actually look at relationships and actually look at a woman who's in love with a man, nine times out of 10, that's not the richest guy in the world. That's not the guy who's actually going out of his way to make sure she's happy. Most of these women are very loyal to men who's not actually showing that they love them like that. That's kind of like treating them like a regular person. That's why I see in real life. Most of these guys that have dedicated wives or dedicated girlfriends that's really in love with them, they're not the richest guy in the world. They're not the best looking guy in the world. But what do they have? They have an attitude. They put something that they love to do above that woman. And that woman likes him for being his own individual. The happy wife, happy life myth is going to do nothing but drive you insane. Because no matter how much money you spend, no matter how nice you act, a woman will never be satisfied. Not all, but majority. When I say majority, 99%. And no matter how that man is feeling. And that, my friend, we live in a world where I could say things probably used to be biased back in the day. You know, men had a lot of power. Men ruled. And the reason for that is because men actually built the world up, built up communities, built up cities, built up towns. Men did that. Women were always vulnerable and soft. Women are still vulnerable and soft. They're just stronger psychologically until they come to a breaking point. Trust me, every woman that you see out here pretending to be a man, working hard as a man, she reaches a breaking point to where she's going to humble herself. Some of the smartest and hardworking women at some point lose their mind and nobody wants to be around them and they just turn into a cat lady. The moral of the story here is, men, is that women are never going to look at your feelings unless you are emotional list. When you are emotional list, women are always trying to find a way to get a different mood out of you. And to them, that's actually love. It's when they're trying to get a man to fall in love. But the moment you're a man that she doesn't figure out and she actually figures you out is when men actually have their problems. So the moral of the story here is, guys, stay on your grind. Stay on your purpose. Remember, she's only going to respect you and care about you once you show signs that you care about yourself. But you must care about yourself before you care about her. And you must care more about yourself than you ever will with her. This is Anthony Spade. Like this video, all right? And subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.
Mike. Mike.